All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaf, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, taught us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother I Lumia from the Gentman Chicago branch here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying. You know, I'm just basically entitled this lesson. You know, the truth is like a plague to these people. You know, you know, we have the truth, but when we bring it out, it's like a plague to these people. You know, because what? When you bring forth the truth, the truth comes with what? Accountability. And these people can't accept accountability. You know, these people can also can't accept the truth is because of what? It's because what? It's, it's damning to them. You know, they want to continue in their wickedness and they want to continue to do what they want to do. You know? Like I said, with this truth, it comes accountability, and these people can't accept accountability. So this is uh, the book of Amos 5 and 10, especially these elites, these Edomites of this society, you know? You know, they spend billions of dollars, you know, to hide the truth. Because what? Ultimately, to these elite, this truth is like a plague to them also, mainly to them. So this is the book of Amos 5 and 10. It says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speak that speak of uprightly right when we teach this truth you know mainly to our people you know because this is this lesson aiming more you know more to, more so towards our people you know when we bring the truth out to our people they scoff it they poke fun at it and they belittle it you know and like i said with this truth comes you know accountability and two-thirds of our people don't have accountability you know with the truth, you know, we teach our people about the law, statutes, and commandments, and how to, you know, to, you know, to weigh, the way to basically, you know, to live their life as perfect as possible, being here in captivity in America, you know, following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, learn about who you are, learn about your power, you know, but what? Our people hate that, you know, when we tell our people where they're going wrong, you know, they hate it. You know, like I said, with this truth, you know, comes accountability. You know, this truth is like a plague to our people. It's like, you know, uh, when you turn on the light, then the roaches, you know, uh, disperse. That's like these people. When the truth comes out, you know, these people, you know, these people don't like it. They scatter, you know, it confounds them. But, um, yeah, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Right. And when we on the highways and bad, uh, bad ways proclaiming this word, we're speaking up rightly. And these people hate it when we bring out the truth. This is the book of Galatians 4 and 16. It says, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And right. This is what we're coming with our people with at the end of the day to tell our people the truth. Tell our people what they need to do to ultimately get out this hell hole, you know. And our people hate us for it. Two thirds of our people hate us, you know, for telling them the truth. You know, hence why I got my the title of my lesson from. You know, it's a, you know, it's a plague. You know, uh, the truth is like a plague to these people. You know, because without truth, you know, you know, you know, you have, uh, you know, you're not held accountable for anything. You know, when the when the Lord set up the uh, the prophets, you know, started with our elders and our apostles on down. You know, to proclaim this truth throughout the four corners of the, uh, of the globe, you know, we rebuke our people, tell them where they're going wrong at, and we're hated for it. But at the end of the day, this is Bible prophecy. So I'm going to read this again. This is the book of Galatians 4 16. It says, Am I therefore become your enemy? And we have become enemies of two thirds of our people because we simply tell them the truth. Tell them that what? Adultery is wrong. Tell them eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster is wrong. Tell them all these different kind of things that they don't want to hear. Because I tell you the truth. Right. We're coming with nothing with the truth towards uh, to our people at the end of the day. You know? But let's continue. This is the book of John 3 and 18. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. Which is what? Yeah, I was shy. Let's continue. Getting to the point. Verse 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, 
And how is the light coming to the world? By the way, it is truth. It says that men love darkness rather than light. And what is the darkness of this world? You know, live how you want to live. Act how you want to act. Do what you want to do. You know? You know, uh, be who you want to be. You know? Instead of, you know, uh, coming back to us, to, you know, to the law, statutes, and commandments. And, you know, uh, coming back to your nationality and serving, you know, your true power. You know? Our people is, you know, you know, uh, conjoined to the darkness of this world. You know, like I said, like I mentioned, the philosophies, you know, the the uh, the ways of this present evil world that our people love to be involved in. It said the men love darkness rather than light. And what is the light? This truth, you know, that you how about Shimi how shot presented before us. And now our people hate it, you know. But at the end of the day, it's okay because what we know that this truth Everybody not, everybody's not going to get this truth anyways, you know? It says because their deeds were evil. Right? A lot of our people, you know, you know, love to, you know, uh, be contempt in their wickedness. You know, they love to be wicked, you know, without, you know, us telling them, you know, that is wrong, you know? Uh, you know, they don't like when we tell them, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you know? And I just made the analogy, you know, when you turn when you turn on the light, the roaches scatter, and that's just like these people, you know, mainly our people, you know, when you tell our people the truth, you know, they scatter, they get confounded, they don't like it, you know, they don't like this glorious light, which is what this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, that Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah has given us. But let's continue. Uh, let me see. I'm going to just jump straight into the point. This is the book of John 8 and 45. It says, because and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. And right, and throughout the generations, you know, the Lord has always set up prophets, you know, to, to warn our people, you know, to bring our people back into the world, to bring our people back unto the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and what, what did the, what did our people do? You know, in the ancient world, they was putting the prophets to death. You know, great men like what Jeremiah, great men like Ezekiel, you know, great men like Isaiah, you know, prophesying towards our people, telling our people to come back towards the ways of Yahweh Shem You know, preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, repent, different things like that. What did our people do? They came up against the truth. They came up against, you know, the prophets of the Lord. You know, it says, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. And right, we're, saying, we're basically in that same time right now. You know, as the scripture says, nothing new under the sun. You know, our people don't believe what we're bringing out. Our people is contempt with doing their evil deeds. You know, hence back to my title. You know, the truth is like a plague to these people. Not only to, you know, two thirds of our people. But the heathens also, to the elites of this society, you know, they don't like it when we speak and when we proclaim this truth, you know. And like I said, they pay billions of dollars, you know, to try to, you know, hush, you know, hush up this truth. But as the scriptures say, you know, you can do nothing against the truth before it. But let's continue. This is the book of Proverbs 9 and 8. It says, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. It says, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Right. And ultimately, the ones, you know, that will, you know, will take the rebuke, you know, to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is one of the hopeful righteous elect, you know, at the end of the day. You know, because what? A lot of our people, like I said before, they mock the truth. They, uh, they, they, they belittle the truth. You know, and they, you know, awfully, as the scriptures say, you know, they, they scorn the truth, you know? Because like I said, our people don't like to be told about themselves, you know? Our people don't like the rebuke that comes their way. Ultimately, our people don't love truth, you know? But that's okay, though. Because what? Yeah, how about Shemiel Shai got something special for two-thirds of our people, you know? As the scriptures say, you know, what uh, What if some did not believe? Romans 3 and 3. But let's continue. This is the book of Matthew 5 and uh, 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. 
Right, us brothers that got this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the truth given by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, we have that light. We are that light of the world because, well, we ultimately have the truth, you know. And it says a city that is set on a hill cannot be here, right? You know, everybody, you know, when these heathen pass, when these different heathens pass us, when two thirds of our people pass us, you know, when the uh, at least of these, you know, the, even at least of the society know, you know, what's going on, you know, they see this truth coming out and it's nothing they can do about it. You know, as I script, you know, as I say in the scriptures, you know, regarding our people, Romans three and three, what if some did not believe, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of these people hate the truth. A majority of these people hate the truth, you know. When we speak and we proclaim this truth, you know, they act some type of way. But let's continue. Verse 15, it says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a uh, bushel on a, on a candlestick and it is giveth, uh, giveth light unto all that are in the house. Right. So basically, at the end of the day, we have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. We have the truth that Yahweh Shem Yahushua has given us, you know. And the majority of this people, majority of our people rejected the truth. But what? At the end of the day, the hopeful righteous elect that the Lord has predestined to get it, they're going to get it. You know? But let's continue. You know, because what? The ones that can't understand this truth, it wasn't meant for them to get it in the first place. You know? Because what? Yeah, how about Shemmy Al Shah has ultimately blinded two thirds of our people? You know? Especially us living in this present evil world. You know, that where all manner of wickedness goes on. You know, we live in a society where, what's the scripture that basically says, you know, woe to them that call uh, good evil and evil good, you know, loosely paraphrasing. This is the type of society that we live in. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 16, 28. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Right, this truth is being declared right now. Corruption is being overcome, you know. By the way of what? The light that we have, which is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is the truth. You know? And it's nothing that these elites can do about it. Whether the two-thirds, you know, you know, they're ultimately going to reject it anyways. Whether you know you whether you heal or you for, uh, for better, this truth is going to come out anyways. You know? Hence my title. You know, this this truth is like a plague to these people. So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to end up by giving our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. And until next time, Wah, Ababa, Ba'ashem.